السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته فيديو اليوم غير كتير 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 لأنه عندنا مقابلة حصرية بيننا وبين انتل رح يكوننا فيها عن مخططاتهم بالسنوات القادمة للمعالجات وكروت الشاشة المقابلة صارت مع السيد طه خليفة المدير الإقليمي لإنتل في قطاع المبيعات في أوروبا الشرق الأوسط وأفريقيا هاي المقابلة المفروض كان لازم تصير بدبي ولكن لظرف ما ما قدرنا نسافر فالجماعة مشكورين عملوها معنا على زوم سجلنا لكم إياها ترجمناها لأنه كانت بالإنجليزي كان في ناس بالمكالمة ما بيعرفوا عربي وهيها كاملة سألنا إنتل ثلاث أسئلة رئيسية ولكن طلبنا إجابات بالتفصيل الممل الأسئلة اللي سألناها هي مجموع أسئلة كثير أنتم بتسألونا إياها دائما أو معلومات حسينا أنه أنتم لازم تعرفوها. السؤال الأول كان عن المعالجات والمنصات المكتبية وشو مخططين بعد الجيل الثاني عشر أو ألدر ليك بغض النظر والله بعد عشر سنوات خمس سنوات ولا شو احكوا لنا بالتفصيل الممل السؤال الثاني كان عن الكروت الشاشة الجديدة تبعت انتل وبالذات عن الكروت الديديكيتد أو المنفصلة مش الأشياء اللي جاية بلت ان أو على اللابتوبات والسؤال الثالث والأخير كان عن انتل بشكل عام عن التوفر الأسعار وبالذات عن سياستهم والأشياء اللي راح يعملوها بمنطقتنا العربية نبدأ بالسؤال الأول اللي هو عن المنصات المكتبية لوحات معالجات وتقنيات معماريات شو مخططين الجماعة يعملوا كمان كم سنة هل نرفع ولا لا يعني الآن إحنا بالجيل الثاني عشر ألدر ليك الجيل الثالث عشر جاي قريبا جدا هل نرفع ولا ما نرفع وشو مخططات إنتل في الفترة القادمة So uh, thanks محمد I think you kind of asked a few questions and let me kind of dissect them take them from the overall high level picture and then go down deep until we discuss what's the strategy. So overall, um, we see a pretty strong, solid, uh, especially in the gaming, uh, gaming market and, and, and gaming community worldwide. And it's a segment that's been growing at double digits, um, as you know, um, worldwide. So it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big segment. For us at Intel generally, um, we have uh, introduced for the first time Uh, five the plans to introduce five process nodes in the next four years. So we started with Intel 7. We have plans for Intel 4 and Intel 3. Um, and then we're going into the Angstrom era in 2024, where we will introduce 20A and 18A um, as our, our product. So if, if you calculate those, these are five process nodes. Each node offer you know, double digit performance per watt upgrade from the, the previous ones. So that, that, that speaks on the process. Um, and it's not only the process, it's also the packaging technologies. The other point is the architecture. So I know you know very well that Core i9, this is, this is basically the best uh, desktop gaming processor. We also introduced that on the mobile. Um, and our 12th gen is also the fastest mobile Uh, CPU. The interesting thing about Alder Lake is that its scalability, so it starts from, you know, entry level, uh, small form factor, low wattage form factor, all the way up to the ultimate enthusiast desktop, 65 watts and above. Uh, so that's, that's Alder Lake. Um, as we go at the end, towards the end of this year, we'll also introduce Raptor Lake, Um, and think of Raptor Lake as an optimization of Alder Lake. So it will maintain, of course, the hybrid core technology that we introduced. Um, however, it will add additional threads um, and additional CPUs. Um, it will also uh, offer uh, a performance increase uh, gen over gen, so on top of the uh, 12th gen platform. Uh, so that's, that's, in a nutshell, Raptor Lake. The interesting part is that Raptor Lake is going to be uh, socket compatible with uh, Alder Lake. Uh, so I think that's good news for folks who upgrade. So that's that, 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 that kind of answer, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave this question until I, I, sh I, I, I share with you our roadmap and then I'll share with you the, uh, the answer to that. And then as we go into 2023, we're introducing a new architecture. So this is what we call disaggregated architecture. Instead of just like having a, a single package for the CPU, we'll introduce the concept of tiles. So you're going to have a compute tiles, graphics tiles, IoT tiles, SOC. So there's going to be multiple tiles. So we will maintain the hybrid architecture, but we will introduce this, this aggregation. Um, the reason we have this, this aggregation 
is that it gives us the ability to use the best process nodes and IP blocks that are available. So these, whether they are manufactured um, internally at Intel or at the foundry. So, and it also gives us the ability to introduce products quickly. Uh, so think of it as a more modular way, like, you know, software, um, it's like how you, you, you have different components and you can mix them together, these different building blocks. So think of the disaggregated architecture as an opportunity to do that. Um, it will be introduced on uh, Intel 4, so the new process technology. Um, and again, I think uh, Mitchell Lake will also offer many additional things, uh, new uh, AI modules, um, integrated uh, different, what we call XPUs. So now we're, we're talking about GPUs, VPUs, et cetera. Starting 2024, then it's Arrow Lake. And, you know, it's, um, it's difficult to talk about all of the features there now, but I think that gives you an idea that we have 2022, it's Raptor Lake still on Intel 7, 2023, Mature Lake on Intel 4. And then as we go into 2024, this is going to be mostly, it's going to be Arrow Lake uh, on 20A. So it's going to be our first angstrom. Also, as we introduce Mature Lake, we're going to be looking very closely at the uh, power and how to introduce low power products. That's, that's, that's kind of an overall run of how we have this leadership on the process technology um, and, and also on the uh, product itself. Going back to your question, so what should I do? Um, I think, I think this, this helps everyone. Um, we need to continue driving the innovation. What happened during COVID uh, is that it established the PC as an essential device. Um, so a lot of people were talking about, and, and I think we hear this every maybe five years or four years, the PC is dying, you know, nobody's using PCs and then something happens and it ignites and the innovation and technology ignites the PC. The acceleration of digital transformation because of COVID did a couple of things. Uh, number one, establishing the PC as an essential device. And number two, there was a big acceleration in digital transformation with our customers as well. The upgrade, I think it's, it's usually... Um, a personal choice. Uh, so it depends on how old is your device, um, how big of a gamer fan you are, uh, what kind of your favorite games. I think that, that there are many factors. It's, it's, it's very difficult to kind of like say, oh, the recommendation is this. My recommendation would always be go with the best thing. There are people who do that. I'm sure you know that <laughs> that could be my, my recommendation. <laughs> what we do with our technology is introduce compelling features um, in each of the platforms to give people the opportunity to use their machines to the ultimate uh, and to have the best experience they have, whether it's gaming, collaboration, productivity. We, we look at the full spectrum of uh, usages and make sure that, you know, the, the, the user has the ultimate experience uh, with the platform. السؤال الثاني كان عن كروت انتل الجديده اللي هي انتل ارك متى راح نشوفها نازله طبعا غير عن الاشياء اللي موجوده باللابتوب والاشياء الجايه مدمجه على المعالجات نشوف كرت نركبه زي كروت انفيديا واي ام دي خصوصا انه انتل بتحسها ماخذه وقتها بالموضوع يعني مش مستعجله كثير او ما بدها تنزل منتج مش كامل فهل هذا الكلام مقصود ولا مش مقصود ومتى راح نشوف هاي الكروت بالضبط يا سو 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 ذس از ا جريت كويستشن اند اي ثينك يو ريفير تو ا كي بوينت ويتش از اي ثينك وي ار making our move into this market very um, kind of wisely. Um, and at the same time, it's very deliberate. We have a, a full roadmap for the next few years um, on our discrete gaming. So we are committed to this market. This market is a $10 billion market, the discrete graphic, almost 75 million units. So this is, this is a, a very big market. Um, and we believe that we can be a leader in this market. And this is why we introduced our Intel Arc architecture. So this is a new architecture that, that we introduced. This year, we, are, we have a plan to sell 4 million units of the Intel Arc. We, we announced that, that's kind of our initial plan. Um, now, there are two, uh, two, two ways uh, to get the Intel Arc. Uh, one, uh, in notebooks. So through our MNCs, um, and this we already launched. Uh, we, we plan to launch the desktop, the add-in cards um, this summer. 
Uh, so we are talking a Q2, um, so around the Q2 time frame. So this is this is where uh, you will be able to get some of these uh, add-in cards, discrete graphics. Uh, now, if you look at our plans on on doing this, as I as as you mentioned as well, is that we're taking our time to make sure that the software is available, uh, the 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 applications are optimized, uh, the drivers are there. Um, and also we're introducing different SKUs um, to meet the different needs from the mainstream gamer all the way to the enthusiast. Um, we started with the mainstream, which is our A3, and then we plan to introduce <clears throat> the A5 and A7 uh, later this year uh, in terms of the, of the graphics. Now, if, if you look at our way of doing the graphics, it's made for gamers, content creators, um, to enable them to play, create, and stream. Um, we've added some features like the super sampling, DirectX uh, 12 Ultimate. I'm pretty sure you know all the features, but one key area that I wanted to kind of like share and emphasize is the Intel Deep Link, the discrete graphics, and we also have the internal graphics um, for in the platform. And this enable us to create what we call one plus one more than two, but basically it's utilizing the two to optimize things. So things like the stream assist where you can offload streaming from the discrete graphics to the internal graphics so that if you're gaming and streaming, your gaming performance is not impacted. And a lot of folks in the gaming community, you know, use the streaming and gaming together. So this way you're utilizing, you know, your um, discrete graphics and the performance of your discrete graphics to focus on the, the game and getting the best performance of the game while you're able to stream at the same time. Dynamic power sharing to also make sure that you optimize your power sharing. And again, this goes back to your question. So if I'm a gamer and a streamer, this could be an opportunity for me to do some upgrade at one point because I will get a performance in the streaming and gaming combined that I would not have probably gotten before. Um, so we're very excited about the Intel Arc uh, and the launch of that. And again, this is a long-term uh, commitment to this market. Um, and not only, by the way, um, in, the, in the discrete graphics for uh, the PC, uh, we're also looking at discrete graphics for servers, to, uh, for things like you know, high-performance computing. So this architecture is very scalable. So it goes all the way from the PC all the way up to the data center and, and, and things can be used in things like uh, AI and high performance computing. Uh, and, and that's the basic uh, of this architecture. السؤال الثالث والاخير هو عن التصنيع، التوفر والاسعار، شو عملت انتل وبدها تعمل عشان تحافظ على اسعار تكون منطقيه او بالضبط زي الاسعار اللي بيعلنوها سواء كانت بالمعالجات وما يصير في غلاء بلوحات الام مثلا، الشغله الثانيه التصنيع، شو الاجراءات اللي اخذتها وبتاخذها انتل عشان توفر اكبر قدر ممكن من المعالجات على فرض عارفين احنا في نقص سيليكون في نقص بالمواد الاوليه وغير النقص في غلاء بالاسعار فشو راح تعمل بخصوص هذا الموضوع واهم شيء شو راح يعملوا سياسات بمنطقتنا العربيه عشان التوفر سواء كان هذا الحكي بالمعاينات ولا بالمنتجات المتوفره للناس من دي 1 او من اول يوم بعد المعاينات so uh, so let, let, let me explain a, a few things number, number one the last couple of years uh, all of the, the all of the pricing all of that is being as a result as you know of the chip shortage uh, that, that took place um, so there was a lot of demand and supply was not catching up uh, so this this created the pressure on pricing we do not control the prices of our third party so the day they are the ones who decide the pricing uh, we're only doing the CPU pricing and if if you look at our pricing strategy even though there was a, a chip shortage that never impacted we we never increased our prices as a result of the chip yes. shortage we continued with our pricing strategy without any increase despite of the chips shortage and we also worked with our ecosystem and partners to make sure that there is good availability of third party component to enable our products to be fully assembled um, and used. Um, now, if some of the partners decided to increase the pricing because they see their supply chains are getting more expensive and stuff like that, that's beyond our control. Um, what we did is that we invested heavily 
in our manufacturing capacity to make sure that this chip shortage is addressed. So we invested in factories in uh, in the U.S. We in, um, we almost twenty uh, twenty billion dollars in uh, in new manufacturing facilities in in Arizona. Another twenty billion dollars for manufacturing capacity in Ohio, and then big announcement uh, in uh, in EMEA for like $83 billion investment over the next decade to increase the manufacturing capacity. All of this is expected to increase the supply and to make sure that you know, we have availability of silicon supply uh, to support the expected demand that we see, not just in the PC market, but across the technology and the semiconductor business. We also work closely with our customers to make sure that they see the supply, they see the demand expectations um, so that they can profile and they can build their capacity with this demand. We work across the ecosystem for availing uh, their products, uh, for uh, making sure the supply chain is resilient. Now, going back to your point about availability, we make sure that this region has availability of products, has the availability of samples, have the availability of everything uh, that it needs since it's a high growth region. Um, and especially across this region, if you see, I think the market in, in, in Saudi, the market here in the UAE, the market in Egypt, these are three markets where there is a strong gaming community. Uh, and from a volume perspective, Saudi and Egypt, uh, the number of gamers there is, is pretty high and growing double digits. So these two markets, are prioritized in the top markets in, in EMEA uh, in terms of their gaming communities uh, as such. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for your commitment to uh, supporting the region furthermore. And uh, we look forward to your next launches. Uh, we enjoy Thanks. testing them and showing our results to, to our viewers. Inshallah, inshallah. Thank you. Shukran, Hamad. Kul sana wa ta'ayy, kul amun شو رأيكم بالإجابات اللي سمعتوها من انتل؟ طبعا احنا بعد ما سألنا الأسئلة اللي عملنا دول المستمع بالإجابات وتركنا الحكم الكو رح نحكم إن شاء الله وننقد ونرد بالمعاينات القادمة والمقابلات القادمة سواء كانت حصرية ولا غير حصرية. شو رأيكم بمخططات انتل الجاية سواء كانت معمارية أو تقنية أو شيء لها علاقة بالتسويق والتوفر؟ هل رح تكون ناجحة؟ هل رح تتغلب على AMD وتكون بالصدارة أو AMD تتغلب عليها أو يصير في تنافس بين الاثنين هذا يطلع هذا ينزل هذا يطلع هذا ينزل ونستفيد احنا بالآخر. أعطونا رأيكم بالتعليقات خصوصا إذا كنتوا حاضرين الفيديو اللي نزلناه امبارح عن إعلانات اي ام دي بكومبيتكس 2022 عن جيلهم الجديد فولعت المنافسة بين الجهتين ومبين إنه ما في حدا من ال... رح يترك مجال للثاني أو ما بده يترك مجال للثاني فرح خلينا نشوف مين رح يفوز وكالعادة إحنا معكم إن شاء الله رح نعاين من انتل ونعاين من اي ام دي وإحنا بالآخر بنشجع مش اللي بفوز إحنا بنشجع اللي بيعطينا أداء أفضل بأقل الأسعار لأنه هذا الهدف بالآخر من التنافس بين الشركات إحنا نستفيد بالنهاية شكرا لكم على المتابعة إن شاء الله يكون عجبكم هذا الفيديو إذا عجبكم اعملوا لايك أو إعجاب لا تنسوا تشتركوا بالقناة وتفعلوا جرس التنبيهات عشان توصلكم أي فيديوهات جديدة منا إذا عندكم أسئلة ملاحظات أو اقتراحات وطلب التعليقات ونشوفكم إن شاء الله بالفيديو القادم وحصريات قادمة تحية كبيرة جدا من داركم مني أنا مد سلام